guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a, another fashion video. My name's Peyton if you're new here. So today's video is going to be all about spring fashion trends. I'm gonna be sharing my 10 favorite spring slash summer fashion trends with you guys and giving you inspiration and ideas and tips on how to work these pieces into your wardrobe. One thing I wanna preface with trends is that you do not have to do all of them. If you are leaning into a trend, you wanna still make it authentically you, in line with your personal style. You don't need to follow every single thing just because it's popular. So my goal with this video is to give you guys inspiration for what is popular right now and what's coming up throughout this season and next season that you guys are gonna see more and more of. And then you all then have the information to decide if you wanna work it into your wardrobe or not. The key thing is fashion is what you buy and style is what you do with that thing. So make sure whatever trend you follow is authentic to your own style and you feel really good and confident in it. Trend number one is a little bit of a controversial trend, which is why I'm starting with it. I feel like you either love this trend or you hate this trend, and that is mesh ballet flats. So mesh ballet flats have slowly been trickling into style over the past, I wanna say six or so months. We've seen different celebrities like Elsa Hosk, Jennifer Lawrence, Sophia Ritchie, all style mesh ballet flats. For me, I've actually ordered a couple different styles and I wanna say not every style is for everyone. For instance, I ordered a pair that I thought was super cute, looked great online, put them on my feet and I was like, absolutely no way. My toes are just out for the world to see. So you kind of have to be comfortable with your toes on display. They also feel like a more styled or elevated version of classic ballet flats, just because they are a little bit different. If you're into it like I am, let's all lean in. Our next trend is one that I'm incorporating into my outfit right now and that is leopard print. So leopard print is another trend that definitely is recycled. I was a leopard print pants girly back in the day. I wanna say maybe 10 years ago, I was really into leopard print and it slowly faded away. Some people said it never did. However, I personally stopped styling it and now it is back and in full force. So many brands are releasing their own take on leopard print, whether it be in skirts like this, whether it be a viral leopard print jeans, which honestly have been hard to get hands on because they sell out so quickly. Or it could be like a leopard print top or mini skirt or bathing suit. Like so many different brands are releasing leopard print right now because that is what's popular. Leopard print is one of those neutrals, as some people like to call it, that does look good with other neutral pieces like browns, whites, creams, blacks but it also looks really fun and I think a little bit more interesting with a pop of color. So you can add hot pink with your leopard print, you can do a baby blue, you can do butter yellow, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. There's so many different pops of colors that you can do with leopard print because it is neutral-ish. Since I mentioned butter yellow, that will be our trend number three. Butter yellow is here to stay. I think it slowly started picking up traction in fall and winter time this past year and now so many brands have been again incorporating that into their spring releases. You can do a butter yellow set, I have a butter yellow coat that I love. You can do butter yellow ballet flats, you can even do butter yellow mesh ballet flats. Like that is how much butter yellow has sort of integrated its way into the world. Butter yellow is one of those colors too that is for the color girlies but it also is for the neutral girlies. I think it's that perfect in the middle of the road if you're not super into color but you want to kind of dabble in color or you love color and you want to have that statement bright pop of yellow, you have that option too. And then I always like to say with any trends that are color focused, if you want to lean in without fully leaning in or necessarily adding things to your wardrobe, get your nails in that color. I have gotten butter yellow nails multiple times in the past year, kind of an unexpected nail color, but every time I have it, I get lots of compliments and I just feel like sunshine on my fingers. Moving right along, the next few trends are very item specific, as in it's a certain style item that is on trend. So the first one I wanna to talk to you guys about is cropped leggings or capris. This is another trend that was very popular in the 90s and early 2000s. This trend is back. 
and I have styled it a couple different times. I'll insert a few pictures of how I've worn this trend so far. I honestly love this trend. I think it looks like model off duty, sort of high fashion, but casual high fashion style. And I just think it's easy. It's great for this in-between transitional weather where you don't want to necessarily be wearing shorts yet, but you also don't want to wear full pants. So our cropped leggings are that perfect in-between length. While we're talking about bottoms, I have a couple more bottoms that are on trend right now. And the first one is knit shorts. That isn't a denim short, it isn't a boxer short which both are still here. We still can wear those. But knit shorts are just something a little bit different. They're the perfect material where again, not too heavy, not too light for this time of the year. And the trendy knit shorts tend to be ones with patterns on them. And they're often styled with a more plain top because the shorts are really the statement of the overall look. I've styled a few of these knit shorts over the past few weeks. And even in the fall, I was starting to work these into my wardrobe. And my favorite, favorite, favorite way to wear them, and I think this is key for this time of the year, Wear your knit shorts with a knee-high boot. This feels cool. I don't know how else to describe it, but this combo is a lead. Our next bottom is puffy skirts. I don't want to call these peplum skirts. I think they're called like balloon or bubble skirts. Honestly, call it whatever you want. To me, it looks like a bubble or a deflated balloon, but these skirts are on trend. I will show you guys an example of Miss Hailey Bieber wearing a skirt like this. I also found so many pictures of cool girls on Pinterest wearing skirts like this. A lot of dresses are having this sort of bubble feature on them. I like how it's being styled and sort of created into pieces now where it feels definitely elevated and elegant. And it's something that I would personally dress up a little bit. So you could style fun ballet flats with it. You could also do a heel. I wore it with a heeled boot when I recently styled my own bubble skirt and I got a lot of compliments while I was out and about, which for me, that's always a sign that I'm doing something right, is when I'm leaning into a trend, but it's not too out there where people are like, I don't know what she's wearing, but it's just out there enough that it captures people's eye and they're like, that is a cool outfit. I'm going to go tell that girl I like it. And maybe not everyone will wear it, maybe not everyone's into it, but it's cool enough and different enough that it captures people's eye and they feel like they need to come up to you and tell you that they like what you're wearing. And then the last of our bottoms trends is linen striped pants, or it could be like kind of boxer material pants. So again, this is something that is all over Pinterest. I will insert a million examples for you guys to see how these pants come to life in different outfits. You can dress them up and you can wear them with a fun little girly top and cute ballet flats, or you could style them a little bit more casually. A lot of people love to wear a graphic t-shirt with these. I have worn several of these sort of linen striped pants. I feel like I'm wearing pajamas to the point actually that I was at a family dinner recently and someone said to me, I'm surprised you're wearing pajamas at this restaurant. Okay. We all know, if you're watching this, we all know those are not pajamas, they are fashion. But I will say that was kind of a lesson in making sure I style the pants the right way and in front of the right people. Anyway, keep in mind how you style these is important and maybe don't wear them to a nice dinner. This is my only PSA. Moving right along, we have a couple tops that are trendy. So the first style top is similar to what I have on right now where it has these bows all on the front or in the back. I don't know what we want to call these tops. I don't know if they're like a vest or a bib or whatever they are. I honestly, at this point, I'm just making up names for these trends because we don't know. This kind of top is that perfect mix between dressy and casual. It's all about how you style it. So for instance, I'm wearing it right now with a long skirt. And if I throw on a pair of heels or ballet flats, this would lean a little bit dressier. However, I also could throw this on with a baggy pair of jeans and sneakers, and then it would lean a little bit more casual while still making a jeans sneaker look more elevated. It's also something that you can wear in a lot of different environments. So you can wear this kind of top to the office. I'll give you guys some examples of workwear looks that I think would be mostly office approved. And then you also, again, can wear this dressy, casual, but I love the bows on it. I think that whether you have them in the front or back, it's just a unique style top that is really pretty and easy for the everyday. The trend number nine is great for early spring time. So right now, if you guys are looking for what do you immediately want to style in your wardrobe, consider these colorful quilted jackets your go-to. Truly the ideal lightweight jacket for this time of year. They're bright, they're colorful, they catch the eye, but they also keep you cozy when you are out and about and it's like, 
that gross spring weather that's like 40, 50 degrees, but you wanna dress springy and dress in pastels and dress in florals. So this is the perfect coat because you get to lean into both sides where you're warm, but you're also on the theme of the season. I got mine personally from Free People. So if you guys are looking for a coat to add into your wardrobe and you maybe live somewhere that's gonna be cooler for a little bit longer, consider one of these because they really are that fun piece that's just gonna take your outfit, whatever it is, to the next level. And then for trend number 10, our very last one, it is an accessory. And I think this one also is a very attainable trend that we all can incorporate in whatever vibe we like and that is fine claw clips. Usually they are the little bit more simple classic claw clips, which are so great, so functional, and they also are really cute in my opinion. They're a great hair accessory. However, now we are using our claw clips as a fashion piece, as a statement piece. If you guys remember, bows were very popular last year. And I think claw clips or statement claw clips have kind of replaced bows where they're just a little bit of a twist on a fun hair accessory without being bows on every single little inch of your outfit. For me, I have been using these to add another layer of detail and sort of elevate my outfits. I'm gonna give you guys examples of my claw clips recently. I truly think I need to calm down a little bit because most of my outfits I've worn in the past month, I wanna say, I've added claw clips. I just love this trend and it's very affordable in my opinion. You can find great ones on Amazon. I will link you guys a couple in the description box that I personally love and have. So with that, we're at the end of today's spring fashion trends video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about and seeing lots of different examples for how you can style my personal favorite 10 spring slash summer trends into your wardrobe. Like I said, you don't have to do all of these. You don't have to do any of these. The biggest thing is feel authentic and true to yourself and style things how you wanna style them. Again, fashion is what you buy, style is what you do with it. So figure out if these are right fit for who you are. And if not, guess what? There's gonna be more trends in just a few months coming out. So I will keep you guys updated as I learn and hear about any new ones. Again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.